Hi guys, Steph here from the Novelty Corner and I have a, another little haul for you. Um, I made a trip to my local Kiki K store uh, the other day and I swear it was because I had a gift voucher that I had to spend. Um, I may have gone a little bit crazy, but as it turns out not only did I have a gift voucher but they also had a spend, I think $50 and get 20% off. So I think it worked out rather well for me. So without further ado, Ta-da! Okay, so here's my little haul and I'm going to move it off to the side and go through it one by one and show you a bit of what's inside it because most of this stuff is from their newer collection. Okay, and I have not opened anything. It's a miracle. Okay, <clears throat> so first up is the Life is So Sweet glitter tape. And it's kind of, yeah, kind of a rosy gold colour, which is cool. Next up is, actually, I picked up another of the Uniball Signo white pigment ink pens. I've had one of these for ages and I've just run out, so this is quite a broad tip. I don't think, oh, hang on. So it's quite pigmented. I obviously this is the first time I've used it, so there we go, that's better. Quite white. Quite eager to use it. I have one of their black block note pa uh, pads, so very excited to use that. Um, next up are a set of their write it down ballpoint pens. This is the let's have a look. It's gonna focus every day. Sweet gel pen, sorry, gel pens. But I just really like the patterns on these. I'm actually not going to keep all of them for myself. I think I'm going to keep the cloud one and the other two I'm going to give to some friends because I don't need three new pens. Um, but I really, really love these designs and I love the colours. Um, I also picked up a pack of their Make Your Mark metallic markers, which I've never tried before. So let me see if I can grab some scratch paper, some white scratch paper this time. And we'll focus in down the bottom. So there are five colors. Let's see, pull them all out. Sorry about the state of my nails too. I'm getting them done this weekend. Um, so like a pinkish, kind of a, a rose gold, copper gold, blue and silver. Let's just pick one to test, shall we? Let's do the silver. They're quite a, a broad tip, which is fun. Let's see if it's going to focus in. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the shimmer, but it is quite shiny. But I thought those would be fun, and I seem to have uh, dis lost all of my other metallic markers. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, I picked up some more adhesive dots. Um, I really like these, they are removable. So um, I try to keep some of those. I always have one sheet of these in my planner all the time for sticking things down. Um, really handy. Okay, I picked up two of the vision board sets. So let's go through the cute collection first. I've got one more thing from this collection. So this is the new cute collection. So every year, and I'm really sorry about the lining actually. I just noticed it keeps changing. I can't do much about that unfortunately. Um, every year they do a cute collection and this year's cute collection seems to be pineapple and strawberry and lemon and summer sort of themed. Um, which is interesting because we're still in autumn, but uh, in winter, but you know what, do what we need to. Oops. See if I can get it out of the packet. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. So these are all the pieces that you get. So there's a watermelon piece. Now I'm going to assume that this is a lemon. It could be an orange. Who knows? I'm going to pretend it's a lemon because I prefer lemons over oranges. Um, turn I wish into I will. Start something new on a watermelon pattern. 
the best time for new for new beginnings is now. Find what you love and do lots of it. I heartily agree. Eat, sleep, create. Sometimes that feels like all I do. Treat yourself. Be your own fun. Let the good times roll. And that's the vision board kit for the cute collection. I have to say, am I the only person on the planet at the moment who is not obsessed with pineapples? I don't know, maybe it's because it's the middle of winter, but I just, I don't get it. Lemons, strawberries, watermelons, I get. Pineapples, not so much. Um, and also from the cute collection, I also picked up these magnetic page markers because there is a lemon. There will be a lemon theme coming up in my planner at some point, probably once it starts to warm up a little bit more. Okay, so the next vision kit was from the Be Brave uh, be, be Brave, Be Bold collection. And the whole reason I went to Kiki K was because I was trying to get their Be Brave sticker book, which they were sold out of. I was so upset. And had I known that, I probably would have just done this whole order online and then got the free shipping. So now I have to wait for it to come in, back into stock because I don't really want to pay shipping for, just for a sticker book um, if I ordered it online, which is about the only place I can get it at the minute. So Kiki K, if you're listening... Please bring back your sticker books. Okay, sorry, my little rant. <laughs> okay, let's open the vision board kit. This one is a little bit wider than the other one. Um, and it does have some gold, gold foil on it. So there is the Be Brave, Be Bold with the gold foil polka dots, which is really cool. Feel the fear, uh, feel the fear and do it anyway. Here is, oh, it looks like we've got two little bunting flags actually I can and dream big and dream often That's both good advice find yourself and be that passion changes everything stay true to you and you and you will always be happy this one I really love and this may end up in my planner um, be brave with your life and oh, there's not one underneath. the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams and Eleanor Roosevelt quote and when AA Milne one always remember you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem and smarter than you think this one might actually end up in my planner um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram you might have seen a few times um, my little desk space at home, which is a tiny little corner of a room, um, where I have some flower fairy lights up. And this that's where I actually hang all of my vision board quotes. I don't have a vision board, but I do have washi tape that sticks to the wall. So that's where I tend to hang these. And I think I'm going to be swapping out. I currently have the black and white collection up and have for a while, but I think I'm going to be swapping it out with this one because it's just so pretty. And this matches their new plan as the peach and the... Um, blue watercolor ones um, and I also picked up the quote cards from this set so same gold foil sort of thing and you get a little is it going to come out oh, I'm not going to argue with it I've got another one on my desk here so currently I've got this card in my little quote section so you get a little block like this to stand them up so now I've got two and that's all good I'm just going to stick that over there so the cards in this one, I'm going to focus in on this card. Today is wild and it is yours. And the, oh, <laughs> it would help Steph if you take the plastic off them so that you can move them around. And these are a lot thicker than the vision, uh, yeah, they're a lot thicker than the vision board cards, so they're a little bit sturdier. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. There's the A.A. Milne quote again. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. Be brave and be bold. Feel the fear and do it anyway. So a lot of the same quotes, slightly different patterns for some of them. The greatest success is being yourself. Great things never come from comfort zones. So very true. Find yourself and be that. Start somewhere. And you know what? For all of us creatives, this is really important. And if nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. And that is so very true. So all of those I'll be keeping ready to change out on my desk. So when I pop up my new vision board kit, I think these will be going into my little stand so that I'm all matching. And 
And last but not least, and I don't know how easy it's going to be to show you, is the Paper Lovers book. And this is their third Paper Lovers book. Sorry, I'm just going to take the plastic off off screen. Um, that's coming up really big. <laughs> oh no, there we go. That's the lining. Um, so Kiki K puts out some Paper Lovers books oh, maybe every six months or so, it seems like. Uh, and every book has three themes inside it. And you get things from papers, notepad, notepaper, um, wrapping paper, tags, stickers, alphabets, all that sort of fun stuff. So here's a quick look at inside. So and I, again, I apologise. It's really tricky because I'm going to hit my tripod here or my iPad stand. But you get writing paper. And it's all patterned on the back, so everything's double-sided, which is really cute. So you've got some note paper. You get little punch-out envelopes, which are really cute. And these ones are the papers. And these I'm going to be turning into planner dividers. Um, that's another little envelope that you can write on the back. So it's like a fold-up note card. Um, this one is a, uh, it's a little rosette thing that you can punch, punch out. I'm going to punch one of them out and have it in a, in a photo so you can see. Uh, that's a box. It's really hard to see this one, but it's a um, like a diamond shaped box. That one's a little bit easier. So you fold it out. Stickers, more stickers, alphabet stickers, um, some tags, some cards. These are really cool. Uh, postcards. Uh, and you've seen me use some of these postcards in my planner. Tags, bunting, punch outs. And then this is the, uh, the next section, which is kind of that uh, fluoro, orange and dark blue. So again, some more writing paper, envelopes, papers, punch outs, <laughs> um, some more cards, postcards, tags stickers, tags, <laughs> um, and then the third collection is a black and white and teal, which this one I really, really love, and this one I really want to turn into divider pages because, which is the one that I really love, this is the same pattern as my Why Not Planner, only in black and mint, um, as opposed to the black and pink, and I'm not a huge mint person, but I can appreciate it with good colour combinations. So some more birthday cards. Well, not really birthday cards, just general cards. Um, these are tiny little cards and they haven't had these before. And these are really super cute because they are literally this size. Um, and in my head, I'm going, ooh, pocket letters. This works really well. Um, some postcards. Now, this one, this is another bunting. This is a triangular bunting. Um, I don't want to punch it out just yet because I'm not going to hang it up. I don't want to lose the pieces. Um, but if you can see on the back there. So they're double sided which is really cool. So you can have a black bunting and you can have a teal one. Or you can have a black and teal bunting. And the tags and more stickers. Another bunting. And these are the two wrapping papers. So I haven't seen what's on the inside of them. So this one is like the cute set with an alphabet type thing. I'm actually almost tempted just to laminate that one because I'm a teacher and it's just plain uh, mint on the back <clears throat> because that's a super cute print. Then there's the blue dots and the fluoro orange on the back. So I love using wrapping paper for dividers. If you've followed my channel for any period of time, you know that's what I primarily use. Um, that's pretty much the Paper Lovers book which is really super cute as well. So uh, that's my Kiki K haul. Hopefully I will get the sticker book sometime soon and I will might do a little walkthrough of that in a planner video at some point. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that uh, you've maybe gotten some ideas for um, what to get next at Kiki K. If you've bought any of these things with, uh, that I've purchased in, in this haul, let me know and let me know how you're using them because everyone uses everything slightly differently. Vision boards can... Um, be used in so many different ways and it's really fun to see what everyone does with them uh, as well as the paper lovers book so thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video leave me any comments or questions below and i will see you in my next video bye